What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. All you new subscribers, I'm Barboss. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to try to increase the pressure on the oil pump. We have the old one right here. As you can see, it's still very dirty. Let me flip her around. This is what it looks like. We have a new one over here that I got. The gaskets are right here. This gasket goes on top, right here. And then the other one would go in here, as you can see on this pump. I also got, I couldn't get some Honda Bond, so I ended up getting this. Get some Ultra Gray that we're gonna be using when we install it into the engine block. Um, so basically, there's different ways how you could increase the pressure, the oil pressure. Let me show you guys on this side. So basically one of the ways is to drill this out all the way. So you can see that hole was drilled up here. Also drill out if you wanted to. Another way to increase the oil flow is to drill this guy bigger also. The only bad part about drilling those two is that you're gonna end up with shavings inside. So then you gotta pretty much try to open this and try to clean everything as best as you can. How I'm gonna do it is I'm just gonna do the easy way. And basically take this guy out, which this bolt has, it's kinda like, like about this big and it looks kinda like a little piston and then try to place this guy on top of that little piston that little piston connects to a spring and that's what what we're gonna try to increase the tension on on the spring because the harder the spring the more flow you'll get through there I know that like on Chevy's and on some Ford's you could buy the spring itself and you could choose the tension of the spring to increase the flow, to increase the pressure of the oil. That's always been like an old school trick just to swap out the spring in there. But what I'm gonna do is, like I said, just use this little guy. So in order to get this little guy open, we're gonna go ahead and stick this one in here. You see, I'm trying to hold the camera and do this at the same time. There it is. See what the bolt looks like? And then the little piston on the top, the little tip. Here's the washer and the spring. So basically what we're gonna do is grab one of these guys, the biggest one that I have, which is the blue or the yellow? The yellow one. And I think the thickness is a little bit different too. Well, the thickness looks almost about the same. So what we wanna do is we want to drill this guy out so it can slip right over this. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the drill and drill this guy out a little bit. So I don't think I'm going to use these guys. What I am going to use is actually this. This goes to an alternator of course a Honda alternator and this thing in here is just a little bit thicker and look at this 
it almost slips over. So I just gotta drill it a little bit. Let's measure this to see what the measurements are. I'm gonna use the digital caliper. It's at zero. I'm trying to do this while holding the camera. A hundred and fifty, or actually, no, no, one point fifty millimeters. Let's measure the other clip. Let's see what the measurement on this is. Point zero seventy eight millimeters. So yeah, it is a little bit thicker. That should help with the flow. So this one that's at 80 should be good for around, I would say 11 extra PSI of oil. This one that was at a hundred and something should be good for 15, 16 more PSI. So if my pump is running at let's say 65 at high RPM and I go ahead and I throw this guy in, that's good for another 15 to 16. And then I'm way up there in the 80s, which isn't bad. Because remember my uh, D16, these are known for spinning bearings. Um, yeah, I could have swapped out the crankshaft for the C6 crankshaft that has the extra ports, but I didn't. So hopefully this helps out with something. So I'm going to go out there and get this thing drilled out a little bit. So I went ahead and I drilled this guy out. And look at that perfect fit. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this bottom edge off so it can look more like a washer. Alright, so here it is. I went ahead and I grinded the best that I could to make it round. So then this guy will just drop onto here. Just like that. And then I'll put my spring back in there. Put this washer back over and put this guy back. Actually, I'll put the washer over here. Now I'm going to put this guy back in there. All right, so that guy's back in there. So I'm going to go ahead and install this into my D16 that's sitting over there. So I'm going to put this washer right here. Or actually, I don't need this guy on there yet. We are going to put this guy right here. So now that we're ready for installation, I got my four bolts right here. A 10 millimeter. And then our ultra gray gasket maker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a gasket maker. I'm going to put a little bit around the edging. All around I'll put a little bit over there make sure that everything's nice and clean before you get started make sure that there's no oil or anything on here that is nice and clean put a little bead on here let it dry for about half an hour this recommends that you let it dry for I believe an hour and then you go ahead and you tighten everything down afterwards. 
so you could give it a chance for the gasket to to start to to harden a little bit that way you don't squeeze it all out when you put your bolts in hey you guys are not letting me work you got to keep it down in here you start wrestling with her and then you start whining all right you guys see you later So this camera is about to die. It's at 4% right now. So I'm gonna go ahead, put the bead on, throw the camera on the charger, and I'll continue recording. All right, so I put it on there, and it's been about half an hour already. I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with the impact gun. And you can see that it's starting to ooze from the edges, which is good. I forgot one. One of these two was uh, loose still, but there's one, two, three, four, and five. So I went ahead, I ran my finger across everything. And it's looking really good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip the motor, turn it upside down. I got some assembly lube and we are gonna prime the oil pump by putting some assembly lube in here. So now I'm going to spin the crankshaft and that's all going to prime in there and get the flow going. So now the oil pump should be nice and primered. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the oil pickup tube that goes right here, which is right here. I got the gasket, it's going to drop right there. And then this guy, it's gonna go right here, just like that. These are just little 10 millimeters. So this one's gonna go right here. The other one's gonna go right there. We got this guy right here, this guy over here another one over here so there it is for my next uh, episode I'm gonna do the rear main seal oil pan and clutch flywheel and clutch so I'll see you guys on the next one till then peace out stay safe catch you guys later Thank you.